love bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning selves, my growing, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for allowing me to enter your life. You know, you're showing me love when I truly needed it and just sending me loving energy when I truly needed it. Even though when y'all feel like I'm helping you out, you are helping me out just just the same and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video or even if you feel like you're comfortable enough and you're um Go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or, you know, you just tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just gave you good information that you feel like you want to go ahead and share with other people, go ahead and do so. Please, then while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for showing love and support towards the channel. And I hope you're able to, you know, get something, you know, resonate with the content of my video today. And the beautiful, peaceful music I'm listening to today is three hours of peaceful meditation music. Relax mind, body, and positive energy, healing music, relaxing music. And I will post that link in the description box below. It is so peaceful, too. I love having peaceful meditation music on. It just, you know, it helps you start your day up, you know, in a good good way, you know, because you never know what you're going to go through when you, you know, start your day. So, you know, just try to go ahead and post, you know, try to fill out the, you know, the positive vibes and try to, you know, desist those negative vibes. But anyways, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Empaths, why do we attract narcissistic people so much? Oh my gosh, you know, there's so many people that I've been talking to that, you know, has been telling me, you know, either they've been in a relationship with narcissistic people, they have children with narcissistic people, hey, I'm in the same boat with you, you know, your parents could be narcissistic, you know, anything, you could have narcissistic family members or, you know, co-workers and friends, you know, and it's just like with our hearts, you know, it's, it's like we had to go through this physical training of dealing with people or, you know, going against the grain and pushing our envelope you know, hoping that we can help fix whatever is going on. It's like when, it's, it's like basically from what I've read and the things that I've seen, they have said that, you know, either we have picked it or the universe personally picked the people whose lives that we, you know, just that we come across during our path. You know, it helps mold us. It helps strengthen us, even though it could hurt like hell. You know, some of us don't even make it out alive. You know, and, you know, just to be able to live and survive through that is a true blessing. You know, we have to go through these things to strengthen us, to mold us, and just, you know, being these great uh, philanthropists, humanitarians, um, just a voice, just for anything. And it's just like you have to have that true, deep understanding about yourself and about your path. And, you know, you have to step back and look. You know, why is it all these people that I keep attracting? And sometimes it could be just the negative energy that you're giving off because our energy is so powerful. Or it could be the loving energy that we have. It's like we can be pegged a mile away. And I don't know what the hell it is where they can peg us. I could be going out to the store knowing I got a certain amount of money that I got to spend. I'm on a budget. Ball on a budget. And then you'll see somebody that it could actually truly need help and you know they're asking for a few dollars or some change to go buy them something to eat or they're trying to save up for a room or something like that i've had people come across me like that or you can come across the ones that are scam artists they'll be soliciting a lottery you know knowing they they got money i've seen people that beg people at atm machines the next thing you know they're walking in a bentley car you know walking towards a Bentley car, a BMW, I said, oh, heck no, I know I ain't give you five dollars, and I knew I could have used that for something else, and you walk around in a car to look better than mine, rolling around in a car to look better than mine, you know, but it, it's just like, we can experience all these different things, joy and pain, anger, frustration, confusion, 
but we all had to go through this you know and I look at my life and I see the things that I've you know encountered in life things that I know that I wouldn't wish upon anybody else or experience things that has opened my eyes to things I really didn't want to see but I knew what I signed up for well I'm knowing now what I signed up for back then I wish I could just go back and kiss kick my own ass like what the heck were you doing <laughs> what were you thinking <laughs> what were you thinking going through all this stuff these changes and trials and tribulations these bumps in the road but I know it helped me grow I know I've met some lovely people you know throughout my channel on me growing and healing and expressing the things that I go through each and every day you know I try to think about why do I have these narcissistic people in my life you know try not to even feel anger towards them trying to get a piece of understanding on why these folks are like this you know why do they act this way but we're supposed to help send them that vibe that caring vibe even though they feel like they don't deserve it because there's a lot of narcissistic people out there that hurt people they feel like they're not adequate enough so that's the reason why they got to put people down and you know downgrade you know their existence to make them feel better but when they can realize the things of their faults, because what narcissists do, they know their faults, but they try to cover it up between the religion and trying to pose blame on someone else and trying to play victim on, on self. So it's just like they have to grow from these things. Sometimes that's their karma that they have done, you know, so bad throughout the years. This is the something. This is the something that they had to go through when they experienced that time with you. Being able to see you grow, being able to see you mold yourself into something better than they never thought that you would be able to do. Seeing things the way you weren't able to see them before. You know, getting on that level of clarity of the most high, <laughs> whatever you want to say. Seeing yourself, not that you're looking down at folks, but you're seeing yourself in a different light. Like something that that is gifted just is it's a blessing just to actually ha actually have you in their lives or in our lives whether it's a good experience or a bad experience you know with us being empaths especially with us being hey because we mirror image a lot of things that people don't want to see a lot of truth they don't want to seek you know or know you know and we're there to go ahead and give them that smack of reality we're there to go ahead and tell them, hey, these are the things that you need to change about yourself. These are the things that I see in you that you don't see in yourself. We do that with twin flames as well. You know, sometimes our, our twin flames could be very narcissistic. You know, it just depends on the things that, you know, we are going through with our twin flames. You know, they're there to help us grow. They're there to help us reflect on the things that we need to change or enhance about ourselves. They're there to give us the knowledge that we lack from one another you know that oneness that we have you know and that's a lot dealing with a lot of people as well so it's just like when you're going through a narcissistic uh, situation and you deal with them and you know you know you seek and see the things that you see that you might not really truly be able to understand the things you truly know about this person towards the you know the basically the deep meaning of the relationship that you share so it's just like it seems like we're both like we're guinea pigs like they lash out on us and show us so much hate and darkness but we balance it out with love and enlightenment you know and it is it might leave them confused heck it might leave you a little bit confused too but it's just like when I see these things you know I, I ask spirit guides you know what was the meaning for me going through this and it says to show you things that you weren't able to see before you know there's sometimes we're blinded by things in the world that you know we have not exposed ourselves to or exposed our children to or just exposed towards that knowledge that it we have to experience that just so we can have a voice to go in and say I went through this I experienced this but yet I healed from this I walked away I let go I gravitated I excelled now I'm able to use this as a tool to help somebody else this this lacking this struggle struggling with they're able to you know being able to walk away from a narcissist being able to walk away from an abusive relationship or you know being able to stand up for themselves when they're being bullied you know we all grow from these things we all learn from these things and it, you know and it's a tragedy 
where some people take their lives from things like this. You know, some people get hurt and killed in the process of dealing with things like that. But if that was our karma and that was fated for that to happen, that's the things that happen. So I hope you were able to, you know, get something out of the content of my video. I hope you are blessed and prosperous and having, you know, a, a complete day, a good complete day. <laughs> so I will talk to you later. Sending out much love and light and prosperity prosperity and true abundance towards your way so now as much love and light and positivity towards others way and like and subscribe and even hit, hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video drop me a line i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even telling me about your empathic gift or you know and it's heading towards a positive direction or even if you're just giving me a positive feedback of the content of my video or you know Share, share on your social media favorites and know that you are blessed, truly favored, and highly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. Stay blessed and stay safe. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.